Hi there, my name is Jessica Drossen and I create textures for photographers and graphic designers. And today I'm going to show you how I edited my photo of Erica that's up on the Rock the Shot forum. I actually use Photoshop for most of my editing. Uh, in fact, I just learned elements here about 10 minutes ago, but I'm going to do my best to recreate what I did in Photoshop here in Elements. They're, they're similar enough programs that I think I can do it fairly well. So what you need to know about textures first and foremost is they're not actions. They're actually JPEG art files and they work with they work with your photographs basically to add color, contrast, uh, textural detail, uh, they can put in a vignette but they're, they're just one file and the way that you use them is by putting them directly on top of your photo file. So in this case I have two images open. I have my photo of Erica and I also have my uh, texture which in this case I've decided to go with a texture called Destitute which is in my texture pack too. Uh, the reason that I am choosing Destitute I'm going to show you it here, is because um, Destitute uh, is a little bit edgier. It has a little more of the grime and grit that I think works well for uh, a shot with a, an older kid or a teenager. Um, in particular this shot because we shot it in an alley. She's dressed very cute but a little edgy and uh, when I look at this image I feel like I've underexposed her face a little bit. The nice thing about the texture destitute is that it has a lighter area in the center, which is going to lead your eye in to her face. And because it is a lighter area, when you add it in soft light mode or in overlay mode, it's going to brighten up that area in the center of the photo. It also has a nice uh, edge vignette that's going to sort of simplify uh, these areas out here it's just going to darken them down and, and I think it's going to just help me create a better looking image overall so let's start what you do is you take this image see I've selected it and I'm going to dump it right on top of my photo of Erica then what I'm going to do is selecting my move tool I have the ability to drag it, the texture so that it goes all the way from one edge to the other and I'm really careful to make sure that I get it completely over my photo and then I hit the little green check mark now obviously you can't see my photo anymore so what we're gonna do is going into the layers palette we're changing the mode out of normal and we're gonna put it in soft light now once again you can see her face and I really like what the texture is doing you can see that it's it's brightening her up it's uh, adding a nice vignette it's adding some great detail but there is a problem in that it's <laughs> and she has texture all over her face so let's get rid of the bad stuff while keeping the good to do that we are going to actually go ahead and go back to our texture file here. We're going to get the eyedropper out and we're going to pick a color from the texture itself. I don't want to pick a dark color over here. I don't want to pick one of the highlights. That will The dark color will make her face quite a bit darker if we paint on top of it. The light color might make her face too bright. Now if you have a severely underexposed shot, maybe that's good. In this case it's just a little bit so we're just going to pick a nice mid-range color about right there. I'm going to go back to my picture and make sure that I've got that layer selected. Now I go to my paintbrush tool, select a nice big brush because this is a close-up image. I'm going to go with a 53% opacity here and I'm just going to paint with the color from the texture right over the top of that texture itself. It looks like I'm painting on her face, but I'm not. 
I'm painting on the texture and you can see the fact you can see her face because I have her in soft light mode right now or rather the texture is in soft light mode right now so here we're just erasing all of that texture getting it off okay here we go now I like to then go in with a little lighter opacity, let's say 11%, and I take out a little bit more of the texture, again, leaving in the color, but taking out some of the textural elements just around my subject, getting her nice and blended in. I don't like hard edges. Now I'm going to show you what I did. You can see it in back in normal mode. See how I've completely changed the look of the texture because I have painted on top of it? Okay. Sometimes I go back in and do a little detail work. That looks good. Back to soft light mode. And I think what I want to do at this point is go to hue saturation and I'm going to saturate it just a little bit, maybe about six, up about six, okay? And I think that's looking pretty nice. I think I mentioned in the Rock the Shot that I was going to do a, a little dodging around her face. Let me just quick show you what that would look like. Go down here, there's the dodge tool. Uh, I'm gonna go with mid-tones and exposure about 7%. Um, my size of the brush in this case is 250. I'm just going to add a little bit of highlighting on maybe her brow and on her cheekbone. Touch on her hair right there. Just very simple things. We're, we're, we're keeping it really, really simple. Uh, if I want to add a little bit more contrast in the end, I can then go down here as well, and I'm just going to go to my levels, and I'm going to make the darks just a little tiny bit darker, and make my lights just a little tiny bit lighter. All right, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, and I hope it helped. Come back, I'm going to try and have some more up. Thank you. Bye-bye.